federal government may have to shut down Carbon Motors' request for startup money for its police car plant in Connersville, but company owners say they aren't giving up. They were in Carmel today trying to sell city officials on the benefits of buying their new vehicle design, even though they haven't built a production line model yet. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox was there for the sales pitch. Carbon Motors, which still hopes to build police cars like the one behind me at its plant in Connersville, came to what would be its highest profile central Indiana sale today, the Carmel Police Department. Carbon officials have taken their prototype car to 71 stops in 25 states. They say they have reservations from nearly 600 police departments for 21,000 vehicles. But what they still don't have is startup financing since the federal government turned them down in the spring. <laughs> Chairman William Santana Lee is still hoping for private financing, although federal stock rules forbid him from discussing how that's coming. We have the team in place. We have uh, the factory in place in Connersville, Indiana. We've got customers waiting. We've got our suppliers ready to go. So uh, we're in good spirits. Police like the car. It's designed from the ground up strictly for them, with police equipment installed at the factory, not as aftermarket installation. And it has unique features like these backwards opening doors designed to make it easier to put suspects in the back seat. Of course, they don't know how much it's going to cost. I don't know what the price tag is on, on it now, but certainly if it's uh, built for uh, endurance and it's built to, for the equipment to hold up for a period of time, it's something we'd want to evaluate because we, we do spend a fair amount of money now between the car purchase and the equipment. The equipment is as much of a purchase of the car or more. And, of course, the big test is, will these ever be built? But before you'd really put this under serious consideration, you'd have to see them coming off the assembly line? Of course. Of course, we would need to see it in production and see how the product looked after that. Carmel officials generally think it would be a good idea to have an Indiana-made police car, but they want to see the proof in the pudding first. In Carmel, I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. And Carbon officials say they can't give a projected date when they might have private financing lined up.